greatest geostrategic risk to the next generation of Indian kids not having more security and more prosperity. That risk comes from Xi Jinping. We want China to succeed economically. We're happy competing with them. Chinese were uh, attacking Indians on your northern border. Um, your, your folks did an amazing work. Um, we, we, we were, we were uh, I'm, you, you should be very proud. As you know, Mr. Secretary, India has essentially been in a frozen conflict with China since the border conflict in 2020. <laughs> so we have a border problem with them also. You have been extremely vocal about the challenges presented by China's rise. How do you see India's role in meeting the China challenge globally? What are the strategies that you see as successful? And before that, what do you think this frozen conflict uh, will sort of, uh, how will it evolve? So I was in the middle of it uh, in, in 2020, working with your government as the Chinese were uh, attacking Indians on your northern border. Um, your, your folks did an amazing work. Um, we, we, we were, we were uh, I'm, you, know, you should be very proud. <laughs> myself, and, myself and Secretary Esper were pretty good too. Um, we provided, you, you asked, we answered as quickly and as fast as we could with the things that you all said you need uh, to not only repel in the moment, not only for the tactical moment, but for the things you needed strategically to prevent China from continuing this indecent onslaught on, on India. Uh, and, and so, you know, it's, it's still, uh, as best I can read, I no longer have access to classified information, as best I can tell, it's pr still pretty tense in the region. Uh, I don't think Xi Jinping has changed his view that he'd like to continue to move, literally move the goalposts uh, in the region. Post the Trump uh, administration, uh, the change seems to have persisted uh, mm -hmm. with a, a new administration which came in. And, uh, you know, this whole thing about uh, you know, alignment in the Indo Pacific. So, what is the future vision for Indo Pacific? How do you think it aligns with India's interests? You said, what's the singular greatest geostrategic risk to the next generation of Indian kids not having more security and more prosperity? That risk comes from Xi Jinping and from the Chinese Communist Party. 
Uh, you all see it, you're, you're, you're closer to it than we are geographically, but we all experience it economically as well. And this has been something that uh, we, we, we want China to succeed economically. We're happy competing with them, all of us should be. But Xi Jinping intends something that is fundamentally different from that.